Welcome back. Some parents are fired up about a question on an assignment at Lafayette Sunnyside Intermediate School. Yeah, Kayla Sullivan reports it was shocking enough for an 11 year old to speak up. Now the school is apologizing. And I'm just like, wow. This Sunnyside Intermediate mom is not pleased with the email her daughter sent from school. For her to be 11, and she's just like, Mommy, look, look at our work. The student knew something wasn't right about this quiz question. It says Jed wanted an education so he could A, raise up from the ghetto, or B, rise up from the ghetto. I took it offensive. And I'm a single parent. She worries about how this question affects kids from low income families. When they read it, they probably all have that installed, like, you know. Oh, my parents don't have enough education. This is why we stay here or something like that. The student's grandfather, Elliot Cameron, is upset too. That's me coming from Chicago and growing up in some of the worst parts of the city. He just keeps asking. Why? So we took this matter to Sunnyside Principal Matthew Brown. He said he hadn't seen the quiz question, but he was going to look into it and then meet with the parents. He apologized and said it won't happen again. They're going to remove the question. We later received a statement from Principal Brown saying in part, the word ghetto with its historically complicated origins was included in a student assessment published by a third party vendor. If the question wasn't manufactured by the teacher and it was manufactured by the site, you should have did a review of the questions um, before you gave them to the students anyway. And that was Kayla Sullivan reporting. Principal Brown recognized that in the rest of the statement said, in the future we will ensure students are provided with the appropriate context for complex vocabulary. We apologize for the unnecessary anxiety and concern this created.